Hello again, everyone, and welcome back. Upon reviewing some of my footage from this very run, I've noticed a few things that I'm going to want to check out. One, there's weird-looking cracks in the walls. Oh, what's over there? That's, that's interesting. But, um, there's weird-looking cracks in the walls before the, uh... Oh, looks like I'm playing offline for now. But weird-looking cracks in the walls where in the um, large fire explosive room that had the messages of try luring out and then fire. So I believe... How do I get... Okay. I was like, how do I get up from here? I believe I should be able to lure some of the uh, barrel exploding hollows over and make short work of them and hopefully there will be some secret passages behind there as well as there is a few locked doors up here that I want to try specifically this one and the one by the elevator yeah it's the tower key Expe oh okay oh that's curse is it an aura? no it's just the positioning Get in there and get it done. Oh, nope, 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 nope. This has been fun, guys. You enjoy your time together. Yeah. Yeah, no. Do I have a curse bite ring? I still don't have the curse bite ring. Goodness. I might have to go visit Cromwell to grab that, so... Not heading down there anytime shortly. Let's head back up the level some. Where, where's the guy who allows me to do that? Which elevator is it? Is it not on this side? Oh, here it is. Hurry, 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 and I make it. It's not there. Let's try this other locked door before I do anything else. Oh, so I don't rightly remember where the... Yes, the tower key. That's what I wanted. This elevator should start up any second now. I'm curious what the drop from there would be. But I can check that some other time. Oh! Prowlers! Prowlers as in multiples of Prowler, or in that it is just... Okay, so it's got the warmth effect. Interesting. Staggers fairly nicely. It's good to see. Okay. Leading Katana. And the backstab, so... Not too shabby. Mad Warrior Armor! Oh, that's that's really great. It's pretty rare. I'm really happy he dropped that. Is this the one that we got to see from earlier in the level? I'm not seeing. It might not be. Are these secret doors? Oh, more prowlers, more prowlers. It's been fun, guys. Let's grab this. Okay. Oh, oh! <laughs> well, okay then. Uh, elevator? Elevator? Perfect, perfect. <laughs> that's, uh... That's pretty great. It's pretty great. That's what that is. That looks like a fatal drop. Yeah, that definitely is an abyss down there. That's something I want to deal with. Let's get some flame weapon just to maximize my damage output. Hello again. Just don't stop swinging. That's that's the plan. Okay. So these guys aren't quite as powerful as the actual prowler. They don't quite have the same health bar. And the berserker blade. Oh, that's fantastic. People are going to be so happy these guys are here. They're not going to have to farm the mad warrior anymore. Or, or maybe, 
Maybe they will. I don't know how these guys respawn, whether or not they can be ascetic. Okay, that's a really interesting encounter. Prowlers is literally talking about multiple prowlers. Ooh. Well, hello. Maybe it's just a set piece. Um. Okay. I can dig it. Is that gonna... Is that gonna be a boss fight? What what bonfire is this? Oh! The Smelter Throne. This screams boss fight. Let's do it. Alas, nothing happened. Can, can I... Can I not pick it up? Hmm... <sighs> This is a bean pole. It's a very cool looking katana. Those spikes on the handle look like it, so it's probably going to hurt to wield. I don't think it's the Chaos Blade. I think it's an entirely new katana. Also, this armor. It's kind of reminiscent of the uh, Eastern set from Dark Souls 1, but not quite that. Maybe it is. Hmm. It's similar, but I don't quite know if it's the same. I'd have to actually go back and check. But it seems like that is not intended to be used just yet. Probably have to gather up all the shards of the soul. But at the same time, that's really weird because I was really... Okay, so this was the... Uh, f the um, smelter wedge section that I needed to get from up above, so... Now, it's, we should have five more, I believe. Yeah. Five more of these, and they're probably going to be in the cursed tower areas, and I'm going to love facing that, but right now I need to search out the um, one explosive room and start grabbing up anything special out of there. I believe it was down through this section. I think I can just run through there. Yeah, kill him. It's nice and cool. Oh. Will that take me down? Maybe I could just access it from the very bottom, but I don't know. Can't be certain. So, might as well play it safe. Get a running start, and we're off. See y'all later. This is really going to be a test of how quickly I can run through. Can they follow me through that door? They can't, but I kind of do want to have it... Oh, nope, there's an archer in there. As much as I kind of want to kill him for a chance at his loot, I can forego it. This is just a matter of swooping right across. Just ignore these guys. A little bit more confident in this place now that I know what I'm getting myself in for. Oh. Ouch. But, that also means that... Oh! Oh. Hmm. Maybe it's after the bonfire. I don't rightly recall, but we can check. It would make sense. Let's try that again heading this way this time because I, I really do want to see what's behind those because th there are very clear outlines in the walls as I'll show you once we get there hmm would it be climbing down through this side let's check should take me right around yeah Nope, that did not work out. But, I have really good physical defenses, so I can tank it. There we go. I meant to be a jump attack, but the controls are a little bit wonky, so we'll just kill him the old-fashioned way. Oh, look at that. Yeah, you can tell by the lighting something's off. 
That is pretty obvious. I don't know what's wrong with the lighting. Maybe it's just... That's funny. Huh. <laughs> that is really funny. I think that's just a mistake in how they uh, actually designed that little wall segment. But look at this. You can clearly see it's some sort of broken up outline. So let's see if I can draw one of these fellows over here. Come on. Okay, they run away from you. So if I so if I sit here, he should carry it this way. Boom, baby. Okay, let's try that again. Bingo! That is what I was looking for. Make sure. And what have we here? Oh, the Katarina, the Katarina gauntlets and leggings. Fantastic. Human effigy. Oh, this guy. What? Come now. Stop being unfair. Oh, what the? What? What? <laughs> Really? Oh, that's so cool. Okay. Oh, that's so cool. I never noticed that mechanic. I'm really glad I came back here for this. Mm, there's another one, so... Let's find another one of you. Let's pick you. Come on over. Run away. No, no, go that way, that way. Come on. Come on. No, 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 no. Let's, let's keep you guided. No, go that way. Go that way. It's wonderful that these guys are absolutely no threat to me. So let's go that way. It's very easy to aim as well. A little bit recalcitrant at times, but it works. Really? Really, game? Come on, move that way. Just a little bit more. Perfect. Hold that pose. Yes. Also a human effigy, I believe. Nice little drops. Eight petrified dragon bone. Wow. And that's from a metal chest, so you're going to have to enter New Game Plus or whatever to actually get more of that, but still, that is crazy. Oh. That is such a cool spell. I wish they would give the player that. Are there any more broken down walls? Oh, don't don't go into that, guys. Don't go towards the light. Any more breakable walls? I think that might be all of them, but... Wow! That was some good drops. Okay, so... As far as I can tell, there's about three more places to go to. Did I did I explore over there? Oh yeah, that's that's the tower with all the uh crawly enemies where you get the rod of fire. I believe. I could be wrong. It's been known to happen every now and again. But I can head down there. I can head across to the tower with the invader assassin, or I could head down the tower here. As one might expect, I'm going to pick the option that doesn't have curse involved. So, down we go. If I do eventually have to make my way through those side sections with the curse, then I'm probably going to set myself up with some sort of... Uh, probably definitely going to grab the... Um, Oh, what you call it? What is there? The curse bite ring from Cromwell. What do we have here? A chest. That is not a mimic. I swear, it's like they're getting lazy with that. Oh, and there's something above as well—a strength ring. You're not even trying. Hmm. There is a place above me. 
And it very well could just be to uh, go with this, so I don't know. Maybe there's nothing up there. Oh, he's on fire. Okay, that's a cool change. I can dig it. Nothing there. Yeah, it's just... Swear to God, these skeletons. So freaking annoying. I'm glad that one doesn't pop up, though, so... That's... Count your blessings. Backstab Central. With a lot of these really large, hollow-looking guys. Uh, same as with Shulva. Backstabs are incredibly... Oh! From soft. What is this? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Come on. Yeah, you don't say. Something is really wrong with the lighting in this. I don't know what exactly, but it is not doing its job properly. I can almost guarantee you that these aren't supposed to be that obvious. Yeah. Look at that. It's silly. Yeah, look! It's it's something to do with the really bright sunny lighting that gives those away. Because you could see with that last one that dropped that it kind of looked similar, even if its textures are done kind of poorly. But in the lighting like this, it, it freaking glows. It's silly. This looks to be a bit of a longer drop, so... Oh, and there's one of them in there. Let's run straight into it. Oh! No, no, there's got to be something up there. And on that side, too. That or it's just there to stop the fall damage. One or the other. I'm eventually going to have to come back and check on that, but... Not now. I'm making good progress. I don't want to cut it short. I meant to roll that. But from soft care is not for my intentions, only my actions. I'm trying to see if there's anything up on that ledge, and from this angle, it certainly doesn't look like it. So I am gonna accept that those are just there to reduce the falling damage if you're paying attention. It could be water down there, it could be more ash, and I'm really inclined to say the latter. I am strongly... oh, god, not another one. Well! Screw you too! His health bar's still there. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. This, this is not part of the agreement. Oh God, how do I kill it? No, stop it! You guys can't just keep doing this to me. Ow! You're ashen, which means you're gonna take a bit more of a beating. But at least you die. The hell, guys! This isn't right. It's not a mimic. And he's gonna follow me in here! Are you kidding me? Sorcery Clutchering. That's that's a really generic name. There you go. You just stick yourself in that last room. I'll I'll just advance onwards. This looks a lot like the uh lead up to your first encounter with uh no, not your first encounter, but your second encounter with... Oh! Oh, we're going down? I don't know if I like this idea. Uh, Jester Thomas in Shulva. That's what that room design kind of reminded me of. Let's reset that. Just to see if there's anything beneath it. Nope. But also to check... I mean, have that there in case we... uh die in this next boss fight. Hui boy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
definitely gonna disable looks to be like three of these around here I don't want to disable as many of these as possible before going into the boss fight I can almost guarantee you that having those three warmth effects in place would make the fight damn near impossible just because it's optional to take these out I guarantee somebody is going to do the fight with them intact just for the challenge of it and let me just say I don't envy that person I knew there was going to be an item somewhere even if it is just a soul of a brave warrior it's free so I'll take it okay we've got three of these left and there looks to be two on the other side so that'll leave one final one somewhere within the uh... okay wasn't actually expecting any interruptions but I can dig it and with the warmth effect ticking off it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to kill uh, one more there we go let's let's use a life gem to top ourselves off here we are it's another one of these guys down yeah I'm j I was just making sure that I had gathered all of the soul shards thus far and I have so you know what no I'm gonna disable your healing first and kill you later that just seems like the proper order of operations. Grab a soul. And I've got one last smelter wedge. For one last statue for Nadalia. I also checked on that and it's an ashen idol. So I've been wrong when saying effigies this whole time. Though it's somewhat similar. Yeah. There we go. Heal that on up. Let's see if he has anything in his pocket. Nope. What about you? Oh! Oh, there's a bonfire here as well! Oh, FromSoft does love me. Steelheart Ellie is worthless. Don't think I don't remember you. There we go. Titanite Chunk Times 3. That's a nice drop. I think the way I'm going to handle this is... Since I managed to take out all of those, I can just run past the two golems as they pop up and head right into the boss fight. I don't know if they're necessarily golems, but whatever they are, I don't want to deal with them. They're powerful, and the lava tends to get some damage on you even if you're playing it properly. Um... Yeah, this is definitely a boss fight chamber, and that stone sword in the middle really has me where... Oh, yep, what did I say? Oh, well, okay then. Fume Knight. Turns out I am bad at rolling. Really bad at rolling. Okay, so he gets... Two hits and a follow-up. Two hits, no follow-up. It's a fairly boring move set thus far, so... I don't really know what the uh, gimmick of this fight is, or whether he's just a very strong enemy. Can he be guard broken? Does not look like it. It's probably a silly move given his size, but, you know, why not try? That was a bad idea. That's probably not even going to pay for itself, healing-wise. Swoop in after that. It's not a very interesting fight this far, so I'm thinking he's going to get something new as I get his health bar down. Kind of like the Smelter Demon buffs, or... I don't know. Maybe just transition to a new phase of the fight. 
the fire damage probably was doing very little for me, so it's fine that that went out. Okay, hitting him while he's blocking, completely worthless. Is that a spell cast? No, that's a buff. That's... Oh! And he's two-handing. This is new. This is a new phase of the f Oh! Well then. That's some damage for you. Jesus! Oh, that hitbox. Come on, play fair. Yeah, I think ruling through that's the most ideal way of handling that. Excuse me. That's uh that's pretty heinous. Make some distance. Yeah, oh god. This this stage of the fight's very intimidating. Oh, that was a horrible whiff. And I cannot really afford that right now. Okay. Let's roll forward. I'm running low on Estus, so... This fight may... Oh, what? Lingering hitboxes, please. I may need to try this again. Oh, ouch. Yeah, that's going to be the last of my Estus if he gives me a chance to heal. Which he doesn't look like he wants to do. Oh, God. There we go. Get my last heal off. And now it's my last little bit of health versus his last little bit of health. My last little bit of health is going to win. There we go. That's the fume. I took all 12 of my Estus. That was a pretty close fight, but... For a first time, I'm kind of kind of okay with that. Did he just... Okay, that's, that's cool. That's nice. I'm going to definitely head right on back to the uh, bonfire. Get some of my health back. Prepare myself a little bit better. You have fun just kind of goose-stepping around. Don't want to deal with you. Just come on back and heal. That was a very interesting and difficult encounter. Uh, how he changes up his moveset and the really broad attacks and... I don't know. The very explosive attacks and the long firing lines. Those were pretty cool moves. I'm really happy with that boss fight. Well, okay then. Crown of the Old Iron King was... Was that the, the final boss of the DLC? I think he lingers in the ancient... Cr okay. Let's have a look-see, just to be fair to it. Crown of the old Iron King, who once ruled this land. The king sunk below the scorching iron, met the one whose name must never be repeated, and became Icarus Earth. You see? You see? It's not Gwyn. Icarus Earth is talking about the lava, the old Iron King. I spoke of this before, but no one ever listens to me. But these were events of long ago, and today no one even remembers the king's name. And I can almost guarantee you that will have stat effects, so let's just have a look-see here, and let's put it on, so I notice no change. Crap. Does it increase your weight capacity? It does not. So what exactly does it do? Does it do anything, in fact? It well may not other than looking cool oh well we'll probably be able to figure it out online sometime yeah look look at the way the ash is sort of shifting I can almost guarantee that the dry water is referring to the ash cuz 
it's kind of held in place but still flows like water. What are all these ancient stone swords? Those are really cool. All the chains coming in and holding whatever that is aloft. You know, that's an interesting question. What if his great sword was actually a uh, piece that he chunked off of that? Maybe not, it's just something I'm speculating about while looking around, but that'd be cool. So I've got one more of these smelter wedges, and there's probably one more of those ashen effigy, no, ashen idols somewhere around the level since I still can't use uh, Adalia's soul, Nadalia's soul. So I'm interested to see what's going on there. Oh, pfft. I was having a moment, sir. You wait your turn. Ow. Scald me, why don't you? I think it's a little bit worse than scalding if it is boiling lava as it looks to be. So. And that's you as well. They don't give you very many souls. Like, you would expect a little bit more than... 2,200. Oh, come on, don't be stingy. But, let's see how many bonfires I've activated. I've activated all the bonfires. Hmm. Well, that means there's two areas left to me. The, ta the curse area across from the foyer. Oh. No, since since there are only curse areas left, then I'm definitely heading to Cromwell first. I don't want to be dealing with that if I can't even give myself a little bit of resistance. That would suck. You're going to ask me to pay for my sins, but no. I'm stubborn. Cromwell, buddy old pal. It's very interesting that you've got all these corpses around you. I'm not going to lie. Thank you very much. Come on around and let's actually equip that before we make any more progress. Let's up some. No? There it is. Curse bite ring. Into the darkness. This isn't going to be fun. You know, something else I should check out is if I actually have a uh, Seed of the Tree of Giants waiting for me, because that sounds like it'd be the best way to take on the... Uh, hmm. Take on the... Um, one phantom that runs away from you. Okay, kill you, kill you too, oh gosh, oh well, that's no fun, I'm just playing around with these kitties here and suddenly this guy comes in to spoil the party, god, if there was one thing I didn't want to have to deal with it was one of those archer looking guys. Okay. Everyone cool? Everyone cool? We're good? We're good? Okay. There's nothing over here. Fan flipping tastic. Probably something in there, but I need to get out of the curse. Will having a torch with me dispel the darkness and thus the curse? It will not. This was a worthless idea. <laughs> Hmm. I may just have to eat the curse. I don't, I don't know if there's a way around it at this point. But, we can try. This is not a safe room and there's nothing in here. It's probably a repository for some of the enemies before they actually come out to play. Try that out. No, I don't want to open it. I'm going to get cursed and I'm going to hate it. Old Radiant Life Gym. Totally not worth. 
Okay. Once more into the sunlight. So there's at least one item down there. It's not necessarily worth it just yet. We'll have to see what's through those doors at the back. I'm gonna have to. I hate how I have to let my curse run down every time. It's just making me wait for no reason. Oh. Oh, okay. No, no, no. I'm not having any of your crap. I know how to deal with you. Some large titan edge. Oh, it doesn't die. It doesn't fucking die. And there's some doors down there. This is just great. I hate you from software. I hate you so much. It's like they know how to piss me off. Uh, let's go and do this. No, 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 I'm not dealing with you. Say goodnight. That's all my stamina, but I can open the door. Oh, and there's... Aha! Smelter wedge. There we go. Grab your soul. Come on. I don't want to deal with you. I'm going to get cursed. There's no way around it at this point. Would you quit it? Oh! Oh! That is so brilliant! That actually is the source of the curse. So if I kill that, then I'm safe. Hmm. Am I going to have to find more smelter wedges? I mean, that would make sense because I know there's that whole cursed tower. Perhaps it's working off a different mechanic? Fire snake. That sounds like a cool pyromancy. Pyromancy created by the Magus Igil. Local f loyal follower of the old Iron King creates several pillars of flame in front of the caster. I just sought to grant fire a will of its own. This pyromancy will conjure up to, will, was conjured up to behave like a snake, writhing towards its prey with a mind to strike. Oh, that's cool. I swear to God, I still want to know where the hell recollection is, but it's not here. I'm just curious at this point. Because it's got to be there somewhere. But where? I don't know. Uh, I'll look. F I've got to look for that sometime. On my own time. Can't get through these old iron doors. Fantastic. And that's all for that area, so... All that leaves is that one last little area. Let's head on out. Got a lot of souls on me. Not that I can do anything with them, but it's nice to note. Have I fully explored that place? I think I did. But I can't be certain. Kill him, ignore that area, and just come right on down, because I know where I'm going. It still looks dark as hell, so that's no good. You know, I warned myself that I should probably pick up the uh, a seed of the Tree of Giants, and then I didn't. I give myself very good advice, and I very seldom follow it. Can you give me the... Can you please give me the backstab? Can you please give me the backstab? Oh, hoo. And see you next fall. Totally worth. Totally worth. I can come back and get my souls, but now I won't have to deal with her, her it thing. Uh, running down and aggroing all those and dragging me through the curse. Though I will need to turn, well, put back on my curse bite ring. So, I don't know. 
because oh, I never took it off, so that's okay. Because I am heading into an area with curse, I am not going to human myself up because that would just really make me sad if I immediately humaned up and immediately got cursed. So I'm going to play it safe and not bother with that. Come on down. What cool looking side area. It's just. I still don't know why it's here. I still am confused as to what I'm supposed to do with the. Uh, it's. Hop on over. Grab my souls. See you guys later. Silver Talisman. Let's just run down the stairs as fast as we can. Oh. No. What is. What is going on here? Why is this an alcove? Why is that alcove there? Let's use gravity. The long great bow plus five. Wow. That is a... What? But but I don't have any smelter wedges. Why would you do this to me, game? Do you have smelter wedges? No, you have a magi... Oh, God. This was a bad idea. Yeah. Well, hang on. How am I supposed to... I don't have any more smelter wedges. How am I supposed to kill that? Are you supposed to save them? That can't be right, because each one of those has a bit of Nadalia in it. And so, if you're saving any, you won't have enough to... You won't have all the pieces of Nadalia you need. Did I miss a chest with some? Or did I miss some somewhere? Because this is the only place left to me. I mean, I don't think I missed anything. I was pretty thorough. This is rather befuddling. First things first is I'm going to run back down there and grab up as my souls lickety split, but... I may also need... To can I can I actually kill you? Can I please actually kill you, please? I'm not gonna be that nice. Nope. Nope, you're not. Son of a gun. This is really frustrating and weird because I I don't really see a way I could do this. I don't have they they only gave me ten smelter wedges thus far. That's that's not a smelter wedge. That's not gonna help. Why is that ash pile there? Oh god, oh god. How is this supposed to work? Come on, game. Don't be that way. I've played fair. I've played by your rules. Goodness. There's definitely something here. I just don't know what. Cause look, you can you can see some weird effect on the floor every now and again. Do I have to get one of you guys to smash it? No, that doesn't make any sense. Maybe it's just weird, like that. Maybe it's just an effect of the lighting, and it is just an alcove. This is so strange. What am I missing? Better yet, how am I missing? Because I've got to be missing something. Huh. Well, that's... Well, that's a cool looking place. That's really strange. Oh, really? Okay. Wait a minute. You see, I knew it was a trap. I knew. If you hadn't killed the archer, he drops down. Totally a trap. Oh, more than just the archer comes down. Huh. God, this is really messing with me. Cuz I know there has to be there has to be at least one more smelter wedge. But where? 
Is it... Let's get myself human again, because I don't think I'm going to be dealing with any curse. You know, the only place that I can think of that I haven't explored is uh, either there's more down there, and I don't think there is, or there's, at the very beginning bonfire, there was the uh, one platform that I knew was going to start raising and lowering, and I don't believe I actually went back to check on that one, so... Let's see if that will do us right. See? Oh! Oh! Look at that! It might not be what I'm looking for, but uh, it's certainly something. And right now, I'm just looking for anything that could possibly do me right, because I know I'm missing something. Okay, there's this and one other location. The, um... Baneful bird ring. Uh, okay. Let's have a look see. Ring of Rain the Traitor. Reduces stamina loss while blocking with shield. Oh, goodness. Rain was an agile swordsman who served King Vendrick, but after resigning from his post, he reconsidered his way of life and was born again as a stalwart warrior. That's cool. It's finally a little bit more lore on Rain. As, as, as of this point, all we knew was that he was a uh, servant of Vendrick, kind of counterpart to... what's his face? Velstat and he wielded a great shield at one point in his life, so not a whole lot to go off of. Also, having a great shield kind of doesn't lend itself to the idea of an agile swordsman, but who am I to say? I, I, I never met the guy, so... Let's see what there is down here. Goodness. This is really strange. Come on down. Yeah, at the end of this room, there's a strange little platform that may have some elevator leading to it or away from it that will lead me to what I'm looking for because I'm really just... I'm floundering here. I thought that there should be something, and I, I don't know where it would be. Nope, this is... This is still just an outcropping. Oh shit. Well shit. Let's head to the bonfire. Possibly anything through here? Nope, there's just this room. You all have fun? I could take it. Anything? Oh, I'm totally gonna blow up. Okay, now they've made a path for me. Yeah, it's this is really weird. It's just nowhere. It's got to be some place that I met. Oh, okay. I thought it was gonna freeze again. I don't know why it's been doing that of late. Never had any problems with that before, but uh, fairly recently it's been kind of acting up. It may be something they changed in the patch. Maybe something I did with my computer, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't think it would be on the lowermost floor. The smelter throne. Let's let's head there. See if see if there's something else to be done here. I'm guessing that I actually need the Oh, oh, okay. Now we're cooking with fire. Yeah. This this is going to be a boss fight that is going to yield one last smelter shard and 
with that, we're going to be able to get that last little bit of her soul. That's what I'm, that's what I think. Steel-willed Lori. <laughs> it's got the Mastodon set. And Drifter Swordsman Idel. Well, that was a weird effect. Let's get as much fire defense as possible. If they've got that there, then probably means bad things ahead, so let's get as much fire defense as possible. One cannot reside within a memory for long. Okay. Okay. This is cool. This is really cool. Oh dear. Why don't I have a ranged weapon? There we go. Oh, hello. Nice to see you drop in. Let's just kill you. What is this? Rusted coin. So does this mean there's a way up behind that guy? There, there is. So I can just sneak on around. And it looks like they're covering each other, so it's not always going to be this simple. Oh, and there's an Alon Knight back here? I didn't even notice. There we go. Backstabs are doing me rather nicely. There's a lot of loot here, but I'm worried that it's just a distraction. That it's here to kind of increase the time I'm going to be spending just dawdling around and not getting to the main event, whatever that will be. It's cool that they're giving us another memory. Ah, oh, look at those textures. It's so boring and repeat repetitive. Ah. From soft, you're better than that. Anyone gonna aggro? You are? There we go. There you go. That's probably that comes around him. This is a captain, so it's gonna take a little bit extra. But the lizard was there to help a brother out. That's a weird tale. I don't remember that from the ones down in... Oh. Well, I'll be coming to you next, but I don't remember that from the uh, ones down in the forest of the fallen giants. So it could be either these are a slightly different model, or it could just be that I'm inattentive. There we go. That's them all dealt with some cracked red hours for my troubles. And what have we here? It's a nice short drop. Leading to a boss encounter, mayhap? Fingers crow. Honest? Oh! It is not time to be sightseeing. Oh, and we've got great arrows coming in. From all sides. That's no good. Hide behind a wall. Ow. Oh god. Oh god. Come on, come on. That was a very dangerous move and I should not have gotten away with that. I played silly and luck was on my side. Make note of that people because luck will not always be on your side. Let's get him done. Time to gather up all the loot and yeah, we're heading down. It may be a memory and I may only have limited time, but I want to see what's down there and I want to get any loot that I may be missing down there. First things first, this comes around. Really? Oh, there we go. I was like, it's got to be here for a reason. 
Oh, a nicely upgraded twin blade. I mean, if you're using the standard twin blade, you've got a screw loose. But uh, it's nice that they give you one. Ow. God, they're so quick. I hate it. I am burning through this Estus. That's not good. Maybe something I want to keep my eye on. Kill this little girl. Get some more fire resist just for the road. Any alons? Oh, no, this comes right back up. Don't want that just yet. Believe there should be a few more tidbits around here somewhere. Let's check here. Nope. It's a weird crumble in the wall, but I think it's just the standard modeling. And there should at least be something back here. It's so weird how they do this, because it looks like the walls lead down, but the stairs lead up. So I think that's this whole encounter. You can head back up and be on my merry way. Oh, no. Wrong way. Here we go. And do I remember which side I came in on? Yeah, I remember seeing that hole right there in the very beginning, so I've got to exit this way. Well, I'm halfway down on the Estes, and probably a goodly more way down on the time than that, but this looks to be the final encounter. Adding flame weapon in the uh, fire keep is probably a very silly idea. Sir Alon! Okay, it's very, very agile. I hate it when they have those dashing type moves. Oh, very, very quick, too. I don't see any fire coming out of him just yet, so I may have made... Oh, okay. Interesting. I wonder why he uses dark. Or if he uses fire at all. Because I haven't seen any of that coming from him. That was poor timing, but... It's a damage trade, and I didn't take too much from that. Could be my armor, it could just be that it's a lower amount of damage that comes out from that. I don't rightly know. Oh. I got clipped by that. There we go. Time to heal. We're going very even for... Oh. I was going to say we were going very even for these damage trades, but... Nope. Turns out that was not true. But this time I know what I'm coming in here for, so... I can ignore the side routes with all the superfluous loot that I've already grabbed, and I know what to expect when it comes to the uh, Alon Knights. Also, I know that this flame quartz ring is completely worthless, so... Do I have a better option? That'll give me more stamina. Let's see how much data... F wow! That's a fine chunk of health. If I do say so myself. I don't need any of that. The stone ring's probably not going to be too useful. I don't need any souls. Oh. Ring of soul protection, just in case. It's probably the best idea. Also, do I have any weapon coatings? I don't have any useful weapon coatings. I have poison, but the chances of me... Well, I am using a twin blade. You know, that's probably a better idea than flame weapon in that fight. I'm going to ignore your summon signs because you're probably useless. Now, these guys. Going to come over? Going to come over? Want to have fun? Oh, I took it like a bitch. But so did he, so it's a nice little trade. Going to 
try advancing slowly up the side. See if that does it for me. If I can get the sprinting attack, I can... Ow. Take these guys out without too much of an issue. Ow. Did I say that? Let's, let's fix that. That's my first Estus. I can ignore him entirely. Come on forward. Oh, sneaky little son of a gun. Ain't ya? I, it's just a reflex for me to do that to save weapon durability, even though I know that I don't really need it with this hulking twin blade. You're going to come after me. There we go. Backstabs are really nice against these guys just because I know it's a solid one-hit kill. This guy, I don't know how the backstab is going to do, so let's try. And it is the one-hit kill. Beautiful, beautiful. It was also a different animation, though. That's interesting to see. only used one Estus so far, so I should have enough to carry me through the fight. Kill that guy. Here's the little bit of a tricky situation. There's a lot of Alon knights and archers all in a row, so... Oh, that's why there's a bottom area. It's because their drops can slip through. Okay, that makes a lot more sense, but there is nothing an Alon knight can drop me that I could possibly want, so I can ignore that completely. Let's come over here. Let's come over here and heal up. I don't want to use any more Estus before I enter the boss fight, so... Play these last two guys incredibly safe. No, no, no. Life gem it up, and I'm ready for the boss fight for realsies this time. Let's go full buff mode. Use that. And I'm going to want to use this as well. Bleed probably wouldn't be nearly as useful as poison in this boss fight. Though I can't say for certain. There we go. Excuse me. No, you don't. Ow. Oh, no, 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 no. <sighs> this is dicey. Oh, and his sword's bigger. Or at least buffed. Nope, 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 nope. Whew. Well, okay, then. Note to self. Don't get stabbed. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's one way to do it. Now, I could be a sissy and head back to Majula and upgrade, I mean, repair my rings. Or, I could be a man and try this again without having a life protection ring. So I think I'm going to do that. That, once again, leaves me a choice for this ring. And I think a life ring plus three is probably going to do me best. There we are. Going to want to skip as many of these guys as possible. Let's see what dashing through is like. Going to want to save some stamina for these last few rolls. Oh! Totally worth. Do they follow me down? They do. So just keep running. Ow. Ow. Time to go down here. Sounds like the easiest way to have. Oh dear. Nope. I trapped myself. This this is my own fault. This is my own fault. It was such a good idea too. 
Now, I, I decided to drop down in order to change my elevation and lose the ones who were directly on my tail, but turns out that was a bad idea because it led to me getting sandwiched there, so I am going to go back to Majula, pop a consumable soul, and repair all my rings so that I can have that m massive, massive chunk of souls waiting for me even if I muck it up again. There we go, that's enough to fully repair all these rings. Slap one of them on, and we're ready to head back into the breach. After I human up, of course. This is a very tricky fight, I'm not gonna lie. It is, especially when I have this massive clunky weapon. I mean, it does really great damage, but it's very slow. And it takes a lot of stamina to keep using properly, so... It's, it's definitely something I need to manage, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. It's not necessarily just a uh, win weapon. In PvP, I know that it's been really popular lately, but... That's because it got buffed so highly in uh, the last, not the last patch, but the patch before. And that's the time that I chose to start trying it out, and boy, was I just a smidge ahead of the curve. There we go. Perfect execution. Came right on through. Now I am going to have to drop down and face that encounter again, but I, oh. No, 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 no. You guys can suck it. Good day to you, sirs. Oh, that rolls too slow. Kind of come in immediately with the sprinting attack. Follow it up. Take the arrow to my back. L oh, dear. This is... This is bad. But now it's okay. No, my God! Oh my God! <laughs> Note to self: dropping down here was a terrible idea. Never do this again if you're dashing through. Heading down is going to get you killed so hard. But, but I know that now, and now I can, hopefully dash through the entire place without having that happen and be sure not to drop down because that, again that that will get me killed rather quickly <laughs> it's a very very bad outcome that I am looking to avoid and I am getting to near the end of my time so I really want to be sure to get this done in the next try or so Skip out on you. I don't need any of your damage. Skipping you and you out. Oh, that could have been bad, but it worked out in the end. Oh, he delayed. What a jerk. It's life gem. As I walk. And they're coming in. They are not giving me any time to... Oh, that was. these are bad rolls. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? You'd think I would have learned. I've got enough for about one more hit. Okay, they do back off. Do they back off? Yeah, they back off. Okay, wonderful. So this was a good idea. It saves you time, it saves me time, it saves me a little bit of resources, if not... Oh, <laughs> Aww. come on guys. Come on, that's not cool. I really want to hit him with that follow-up strike, but he dashes away so quickly. And he doesn't give you time for the full combo. Also, one-handed rolling attack, utter bollocks.
He keeps dashing away, which means I need to keep closing the distance. No, 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 don't want that. I know what that does. Come on, take the poison damage already. Come on, quit being a jerk. At least you let me heal. That was bad on my part. But it wasn't very damaging, so I'll take it. Yeah. Thought you were going to be, be all tricky there, didn't you? You did! And you were! But you gave me time to heal. I'm Now that I'm a little bit more acquainted, w oh, acquainted with his moveset, I'm doing much better at dodging it, and I'm being far more efficient with my Estus. Stop doing that. Rolling attack is not your friend. Get the heal off. I meant to heal earlier, and now I'm going to take it. Whew. Okay, turns out the poison resin, completely worthless in this fight. Probably because of his poison resist, not because it doesn't do enough poison. But I can't say for certain. Get out of there. That's a very nice combo. Not combo, but a uh, little pattern he locked himself into. Yeah. Once you've, once you've got his timings down, it's a much easier fight. Still can't believe I got this. Got stabbed by that one hit. Oh, that was a bit of a delay. That's not very nice. Especially because I only need one last hit. Which he doesn't want to give me. No! No, 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 no. Oh, oh, I should have just healed. I should have just healed. I knew what I was doing. Gah. That's frustrating. I can only imagine how frustrating it is for you. You guys are probably just screaming at your screen, Just kill him already! Oh, yeah, yeah. Healing myself up. I can heal off that last little bit of damage as I go in for another as I go in for another encounter and I know that I shouldn't be wasting my time with the poison buff anymore so that's going to save me a bit make sure those archers don't get free damage on me at the start of the fight gosh that's so disappointing I'd done that fight so well but now I should be extremely familiar with it. There we go. That was a much better traipse on through. Just checking my equipment to make sure I'm all set up for this fight. There, oh my goodness. I, it's like I can't roll through those guys. That, I basically can't roll through the Elan archers, so I'm not even going to try that. Jumping attack. The melee guys should back off, giving me just enough time to Estus before I go through the door. Yeah, called it. Okay. Last fight, I swear. You're going down. No? Can't believe I got caught by the stab again. That was so depressing. Especially because it's such a long wind-up. But I... I hate it when he does that jump back and does the little delay on his swing. It really messes with the timing. Heal behind him. Don't go for the rolling attack. Make sure... Ooh! That's, that, that attack is so scary, but it's telegraphed. It's one of those attacks that's meant to fill you with dread, not necessarily catch you. You know, unless it catches you like it has done so many times before. go. He doesn't give you much time to punish him, just a single attack. I'm sure if I was wielding a quicker weapon, I could get two attacks, maybe, no, probably not three, unless I was using a, uh, mm, that delay on that. But it does give me time to regen my stamina, so I can come back at him even harder and more aggressive, instead of wasting some time Ooh. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. This is not how the fight's going to end. 
I am taking you out. And this is a non-negotiable part of our little encounter here. That's what's happening. Just, just keep doing that. I'm okay with that. It's very easy to punish. God, I shouldn't have gone for that. And I knew I shouldn't have gone for that. But I get the kill anyways. Thank goodness. That was starting to get on my nerves. The soul of Sir Alon. Is is that it? Is there something in the boss chamber? Okay. So I have the soul of Sir Alon. Oh, okay. I was like, now where do I go? Because <laughs> there's got to be something. Yes, I knew it. They finally gave me my last smelter wedge. I was, I was really worried that I, that they weren't going to give it to me, and I was just going to be SOL. Like, go ahead, go find it. We dare ya. But no, luckily enough, that is not the case. Let's just see if they'll give me the armor. No, it's just sends right back into the memory. I'm going to head on out, go over, grab my little smelter wedge, and that'll be all for the episode. And I'm pretty sure that's all for the DLC. Not quite as bombastic of a boss as Sin, but honestly, how do you follow that up? How, I ask you? That's, it, you don't. That is too good of a boss fight. It, yeah, it's from the foyer. Sin was just such an incredible fight that, yeah, I don't, I don't know how they're ever going to live up to that because it was just so good. And I'll admit, Sir Lon was a pretty great fight as well. Very long, very tiring. It, it, it kind of reminds me of the Artorius fight and, uh, it, while that doesn't recommend itself to me, I'm sure he's going to be a big favorite among the community because while I don't personally like the Artorias fight just for the same reason as I don't really like the Elan fight as much as I could uh, I, th I think that the health bar is way too big and that uh, it's it's a very slow fight because you almost have no time at all to punish them I do I do like the energy of the fight and I think the Lost Sinner is the perfect balance there. I think the Lost Sinner is the way to do that fight right. Make it... I should have had my Curse Bite Ring on for this, because there's no way I can make it down to stab this in time. But it was still a great fight anyways. Still very worthwhile. Really glad they included it. Really happy with how it turned out. There we go. Soul of Nadalia, Bride of Ash. Can I kill you once... Okay, and it they all combine to give me the proper soul. Can I kill you for real? Yeah. Nadalia is no more. The true soul of Nadalia is acquired. You know, well, at first I was rather skeptical of... What should we call it? The idea that, um, what's her face? Shanelot could be a shard of Manus. I I think this new DLC actually lends itself a little bit better to that because in this DLC we finally established that the shards of Manus seek out a king. That's kind of their shtick. That's what they're doing. That's what they're here doing. Um, in Sholva, she found a king. Nishandra found a king. And this one, find the soul of Nadalia, confirms that she was looking for a king who was no longer here. So, there's, there's, it seems to be something inherent in these shards of Manus that have them search out a king. And, let's be honest... Shanelot's kind of seeking you out and promoting you and turning you into the, into a monarch. She's always pressuring you to seek adversity befitting a monarch. And so that I, I've got my eye on that. It's certainly not confirmed 
in any respect, but it's, it's something to keep your eye on. It does beggar the question of how exactly uh, Vendrick and Aldia created her if she is also a shard of Manus, but I, I want more information before I say my opinion one way or another. Now, let's, let's read this soul. Soul of Nevdalia, Bride of Ash, who renounced her flesh and wandered Broom Tower. In the, art, in the act of dancing, the Bride of Ash was transfigured as smoke, enticing people to her residence. And so her seat of power became known as the Broom Tower. It seems like a little, a little bit of a non-sequitur, but I'll let it go. The wondrous soul of this Augur of Solitude can be used to acquire numerous souls or create something of great worth. This I really like because it finally does away with the notion of the seven deadly sins. Ilana was already something that already kind of went against the idea, especially because, uh, what's her face? Nishandra didn't really fit already. Soul of Want, you could sort of construe as lust. Wrath, yes, but Wrath doesn't really fit into her personality. And now Solitude, there's, there's no denying it. They, they simply are not connected to the seven deadly sins in any way, shape, or form. There's, there's just nothing there for it. So, that's good to see. And I want to see the soul of Sir Alon and the Fume Knight. Uh, soul of Sir Alon, who once served the old Iron King. Sir Alon came from an eastern land and became the king's most trusted knight using the wondrous soul of his knight to acquire numerous souls or something of great worth, yada, yada, yada. Soul of the Fume Knight that, guns, that guards the dungeon of Broom Tower. Rain was a distinguished knight who became infatuated with the Bride of Ash. Oh, that was Rain! Oh, that's so cool. Who became infatuated with the Bride of Ash and settled in this land of smoke and fog. The wondrous soul of this knight can be used to acquire yada, 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 yada. Before I'm done, I do want to head over to both, oh, goodness, Strayed and um, Ornifex to see what can be crafted of these souls. But, wow, I'm, I'm really happy with the way this DLC turned out. Goodness, this, this really hypes me for the next one. It's going to take me a little while to put together any really deep and interrelating lore aspects from this, but uh, there's certainly things to be going off of. Not only do we get a lot more on Rame, but we also have another Shard of Manus to add to our repertoire. This one actually without physical form, which is kind of interesting. She kind of... Uh, oh, okay. Attached her soul to those Ashen Idols and... Oh, the Fume Sword. Straight sword forged from the soul of Fume Knight and imbued with the Dark of Nadalia. The exiled swordsman Rain had the ability to expunge the Black Fog, but chose instead to live alongside it, in the company of the Child of Dark that haunts his sword. That's really cool. And it also explains why he's got a Dark Soul. I like it when they give us that. <coughs> Goodness. The Chime of Screams. Oh, that's that's pretty cool. Sacred Chime forged of the soul of Nadalia, Bride of Ash. Nothing appears sacred about this frightful design of this chime, but it does have the benefit of raising one's faith. The oozing frozen iron forms the bell seems to anticipate a scream. Well, that's cool. And the Bewitched Alon Sword. That's, that's interesting. Katana forged from the soul of Sir Alon. The captivating, undulating design serves to enhance this weapon's mystical allure. Alon came from the east and sought, and soon became the Iron King's most trusted knight. When he departed, the old Iron King bequeathed Sir Alon's name to his Iron Warriors. Okay. That's interesting. Oh, the Fume Ultra Greatsword. Ultra Greatsword forged from the soul of the Fume Knight. Yada yada yada. It's the same description as the fume sword. But it has oh god. 
Wow, look at that strength scaling. And that's it. Just base upgrade. That's going to have... Let me check. About 460... No, about 465? Somewhere around there. 465 base attack if it follows the regular conve convention for upgrades. And has S scaling? Good God. Something about that base damage, though, kind of says to me that it's going to follow the really strange convention of the DLC weapons, like the Drake Blood Sword, of really straying away from the regular upgrade intervals, so I don't know how that's going to turn out. Those are some cool weapons, and now to visit Strayed and see what he has for us. Come on up. Ah, uh, just I cannot bonfire today. Though admittedly, his his bonfire is really weird because it's the last one you activate, but at the same time, it's not the last one in line. So I can kind of understand that mistake. I was going to just travel over to him from what's her face, the uh, lost sinners, the sinners rise, but then I remembered that I've already activated his bonfire. Ran out of stamina there, so I had to roll out, but it's no problem. Here we are. Trade, do you have anything new? You don't? Re okay. And you can use Nendalia's soul to make outcry. A pyromancy of Nendalia, Bride of Ash, spouts multiple dark flames. The child of dark, bearing inconceivable strength, found herself in a kingless land devoid of souls, and, in journeying there, has all but condemned herself to a fate most wretched. Goodness. Yeah, I'm probably going to use that because the chime is completely worthless to me, as this character isn't using any... whatchamacallit? Let's go back to Medulla and test that out, just because I want to see it. But this character isn't using any miracles or chimes, and uh, having that, this, this pyromancy is something I can actually use. I can use either that or Dance of Fire or Fire Snake. I'm kind of disappointed that they didn't give us any, any uh, fire seeds, but oh well. Yeah, let's, let's try, all, try them all out. First off, we've got Dance of Fire. Oh, that's cool. It's kind of a little firewall explosion. I'm sure if you could figure out how to use that properly, you could get it down very well. Okay, this is just a Fire Tempest with uh, Dark Flames instead. It's interesting to note that it actually extends much farther out to your left than it does start on your right, so that might be something you want to pay attention to when choosing whether or not to use that or how to use it. And now let's test out this fire snake. Come on. Ooh. And if its description is to be believed, it will actually curve to seek out enemies. So, while it does kind of lock you up a little bit, I think that's actually going to be the, uh, the pyromancy that I stick with in addition to my flame weapon. Thank you so much for watching. That's been the DLC, and that's actually the complete run for Faram. I, I will be definitely keeping him around so that I can head through the next DLC when it finally comes out and just have all three of the DLCs all on the same character, but yeah, I, I am really happy with how that DLC turned out. I'm really ecstatic. I, I just played through it almost all in one day, and yeah, wow. Goodness. Really happy with that. I'm really interested to try it out on some of my other characters as well, and see how it's drops and pyromancies and special weapons really can be used effectively with people who aren't necessarily locked into their one theme build and can have a variety of weapons. 
So thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll come and watch again when I start up my next playthrough, or when I continue on to the Ivory King DLC. Thank you so much, and have a good day.